I'm not sure we'll ever see its like again. Angela, very good uh, morning to you. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Well, it's, it's an extraordinary year, isn't it? It's been quite mixed up with good and bad you well know, i mean i was thinking this morning when i was thinking about what we would talk about you know aside from the whole harry and Meghan situation aside from the fact we've got a new king aside from the fact that the queen passed away i mean i don't imagine that you will have had a busier year in the history of the royal family would you no it's been extremely hectic but it's been also a great privilege to be to live through it and to give your views and not to be afraid of saying things that some people might not like to hear but which you actually believe in yes um, i don't think i think some of the royal commentators are uh, very shy and awkward and don't want to upset anybody and not that i want to upset people i think you need to be straightforward mm. and i think people haven't been straightforward particularly about harry and Meghan. and well there's been a, there's been her. an awful lot of smoke and mirrors haven't there and there's been an awful yes. lot of you know sort of shall we say uh, different recollections of events Yes, well, as the Queen said, you know, that there are different recollections. And I think you just remember some of those sentences she says that encapsulates a huge amount of um, belief and power there. Uh, and, I, and I think we'll be have to wait a little bit before King Charles gets used to that. I mean, she's got used to it over 70 years, but um, I think to be able to encapsulate things so neatly it is very important. A couple of the things that I found very interesting mm. this year is that we've seen a new generation of royals and how wonderful they are. I mean, um, uh, William and Catherine have obviously decided this was the moment they had the pan, the, the jubilee, and to bring them out of themselves and yes. give them an example of behaving like royals. And their behaviour was impeccable, wasn't it? They looked lovely. They seemed enthusiastic. Um, Princess Charlotte was very excited about everything, and George's is his character is more shy. Um, and Louis came out absolute star. But the thing is that they wanted to show that they are a royal family. There's been such um, a breakup due to the Sussexes yeah. that it's lovely that you see that it's a family who love each other, have fun, laugh, and and work together and behave with a great deal of dignity yes. I, think well, I haven't, that I haven't really year. had a chance to speak to you since since christmas and and that was a very very clear wasn't it from king charles's christmas message that the sussexes are now well and truly on the outs and there's no coming back yes i think that's quite right too you can't have someone saying you're a liar and that your other son is a bully i mean it sounds like a little boy of three who's saying my brother's a bully i mean it's just a nonsense um but what is interesting is that they can't seem to see each other as others would see them i think by you know you get to a sort of mature age in your late teens you start to see what you the impression you give not just what you're like and the fact that they couldn't see that they were absolutely killing any respect anyone could have over them mm. with this six hours of boredom which i watched all the way through and you think surely you realize this is ridiculous surely you realize that if you say somebody on on an airplane comes and sits down next to you and says thank you so much for all you've done for this country yeah. and you realize this you know what you've given up for it i mean it's a load of nonsense isn't it that's not going to happen they're not going to go up and talk to megan who doesn't like anyone without no. permission to come up and talk to her wow. um, and also the big lies where you just throw a heap of rubbish at somebody without actually saying who it is what it is how it is um you can't then expect to be treated as one of the sons if they haven't done anything in 2022 that helped the royal family in fact they're trying very very hard to smash it up mm. i believe for a very long time as you probably probably know that they wanted to destroy it altogether um but i think that actually they've destroyed themselves quite a lot but also for, um, and for, for, for whether what netflix uh, Sorry, I wondered whether Netflix actually could see that mm. and let them carry on. I mean, anybody who is a really good director would have said, look, don't do that. You're going to look ridiculous. Yes. But they just went all the way through it. Um, 
and did look ridiculous. Yes. Well, I think we've now also seen them having shot their bolt, as it were. You know, their next project with Netflix is a sort of rehashed documentary series which was produced by somebody else, which they've kind of lent their names to because Nelson Mandela was a very inspirational character. Well, sorry, who cares? What, uh, you know, what possible interest could I have if I was interested in seeing things about, you know, various different interesting people around the world? Why would Harry and Meghan have to be involved in it? You know, I don't understand what role they think they've got there. Well, I do think it's very grandiose and I think that they feel that they um, deserve huge respect around the world and therefore they know these people and they can actually put their name to it and that will help what people think about them, that if you do have um, very famous names attached to you, then you uh, actually grow with that. But I think they've lost that mm. one. People can see right through it. And also people don't really want other people to... Um, break families down and particularly if the grandmother unique amazing woman has recently died and to much sorrow that mm. actually you're still going on about trying to break the family down because Harry just thinks she'd be much better queen it's quite obvious yes. but you know we just run 10 miles but this is what I was going to say was that it seems so petty that they've gone to all of this trouble to try and destroy the royal family purely and simply it would seem to me out of revenge out of just kind of you know um being annoyed that they couldn't get what they wanted yeah i think it's absolutely spot on um megan i think has dictated to harry what he has to say because i don't believe that that he really hates his brother or he hates his father you can't really get on with them for so long you can just move on when you're a teenager, but you can't live with somebody for so many years and then suddenly um, start saying or spouting all this vitriol. Yes. Um, and what and do I you make, I mean, the coronation, we haven't got an awful lot more time, Angela, I'm afraid. The coronation <laughs> coming up in 2023, um, yes. will, do you think, will Harry get an invitation for that? Well, I think he will get an open invitation, but I don't think he'll get one with loads of um, security and it's sort of come if you want to. I think you can't say no to your son. It mm. just isn't possible. But you don't have to make a big effort and he can be put fairly at the back. And it's also Archie's birthday and they're not going to stop in the middle and sing happy birthday, Archie, are they? <laughs> so they will They they will be, you know, they do everybody a favour if they come. But this year, next year, it won't be anybody's favour. You don't want to come? Fine with us, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a hard one. But one is a good thing just to get that in. That in February, the Queen said that Camilla must be made Queen Consort, not Princess Consort. And I think that's made a huge difference, and it will with um, everything in the future, because there'll be no arguments. This is what the Queen wanted, despite the arguments at the beginning, that you can improve relationships and, and be um, powerful. And she will be a marvellous uh, Queen for Prince Charles, King Charles, yes. not least because he knows him so well and believes in supporting him. So I think he's very grateful and what with William and Catherine and, and the young ones, I think it will be a very powerful, strong, loving family, which is actually what we want. And people are coming back to the Royals, it seems. They want to have the satisfaction and the stability that you get from that. Um, all the way he's been met all the time, he's been astonished by how many people have come. And I think that is an indicative yeah. of what people feel for the future. Absolutely. And just one final word, it will be the first sort of King's Honours list this new year, won't it? Um, I'm not going to ask you who's going to be on it and who should be on it. Uh, but also we should probably mention Prince Andrew as well, because I mean, had it not been for everything else, that would have been the big story of the year as well, wouldn't it? Yes, it was. I mean, he's let the family down very much. But to his credit, he's been very quiet now. We saw him briefly going to church on Christmas Day, but that's all right. That's a family event. He's not doing anything with the royal family. He will keep on trying to, but he won't. But he's got his former wife there with him now, and um, he's a grandfather, and he has to make the best of it. He, he's... You know, he hasn't got a mother which he can go and nag her. And he had a, a way of getting what he wanted out of her. But, uh, you know, uh, he hasn't got her anymore. But he's got his two daughters. And Beatrice is known to be very stable and to have a very good idea of things and a, a good advisor. 
Um, but he will have to take um, a very different place. But we'll just pass on because we will move on to other people and um, see how the country goes. And, and I think that King Charles's feeling about what we're all going through in finance and difficulties and um, will uh, in, make us feel more that we belong to him and they can help us go through these difficult times. Sure. Well, Angela, listen, I wish you a very happy new year. We'll see you.